All right, guys, we're here with the new 259 D3. We're going to be covering some new features as well as some improvements over the previous model. We're also going to be covering some new technology on this. So look up, looking up in your top right-hand corner of the machine, you'll see our new advanced display monitor. That'll give you access to your new implements um, as well as operator preferences such as hydraulic response and also work tool response. It'll also remember which attachments you would use and it'll also be where you'll see your rear view camera. Our new Cat Intelligent provides features like work tool return to dig as well as auto level when you're picking up your attachment or bucket. So if you look just below the advanced display monitor, you'll see your throttle control. You also have a pedal in the floor for a manual throttle control. A cool feature on this is if you, if you turn your throttle control all the way up, you'll see a boot on the right hand side and your throttle control on the floor will become a decelerator, like on a bulldozer. So coming around to the back of the machine, you'll notice that we have our service compartment. Um, a lot of times you'll see, as soon as you open this, you're staring right at the radiator. Um, on our machines, you'll have easy access to all your filters, your fuels, your coolant, um, which makes servicing this machine super easy and accessible. All right, guys, another great feature on all of our compact track loaders are going to be our torsion axle suspension. What this is going to do is give the operator a much smoother ride. It will also help with uh, load retention in the bucket, which will lead to increased productivity. So we're going to spend a couple minutes talking about attachments. We have three pulled out today. The CAT CTLs are compatible with dozens of attachments, but we're just going to highlight three that we have here right now. The first one's going to be the box blade. It's got um, poles, so it's ready for GPS and things like that. It's great for the smaller jobs where you, you can't get a motor grader or a dozer or something like that in there. The next one's going to be one of the most common we see, the bucket. Um, it's a great attachment, especially with our return to dig as well as our self-leveling feature. And then the third would be our mulcher. Um, a, few good features on that, it's got a rotating hydraulic door which will allow you to determine how long you want your um, molds to stay in there and how fine you want it. Um, it's also got a low profile for a lot better visibility than most. It's also capable to harvest trees up to 8 inches. Alright guys, so we went over a few features, few improvements as well as a few attachments that we have right now. Um, if you have any more questions, please give us a call.